All right, hey guys, uh, what's up? Welcome back to the very, really good podcast. This is episode sixty-six. Uh, the, oh, it's almost the devil number, dude. We're one more. We're one more episode away from episode six, 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 because that's how you count. It's six, 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 and then six, six. Every number is six. Okay. Um, and that's just the. That's just the way I was taught, and if you try to tell me otherwise, I'll fucking disagree with you a lot, okay? So every number is six, and that's it, all right? All right, guys, see ya. That was episode 66. Um, fuck. Man, it's early, dude. I've never done a podcast this early, I don't think. It's 10 in the morning, bro. Woke up like a two, like a two hours ago. I woke up two hours ago. Um fucking best way to wake up ever is your dog throwing up on the ground dude that's the best way to wake up and I, and if you disagree with me I'll, I'll i'll yell at you a lot um it's the best dude i love it you know it's like just uh you you know you're sleeping and uh you know you're enjoying your sleep you're having a cool dream and then you hear <coughs> And then you're like, oh, fuck, this is weird. I'm, like, super tired. I'm, It's probably nothing. I'm going to keep sleeping. And then you keep hearing. <laughs> and then you, uh, you're like, and then you, like, shoot. Your eyes fucking shoot o- awake. Like, they shoot open. And you're like, oh, fuck, my dog's about to throw up. And then you uh, put them on put them on the ground because you don't want him to throw up on your bed. Um, and, then he, and then he finishes. He... And uh, that's it. And then you don't fall asleep after that because you're like, fuck, well, now I'm awake because obviously I'm awake because my dog just fucking threw up its, uh, threw up his fucking stomach bile onto my floor. Um, I hope you guys aren't eating while, uh, while listening to this episode um, because that'd be a bad idea. Um, fuck, man. We have fun. <laughs> we have fun, don't we? Um man, this uh this week's been dude, okay, so I think in the last episode I talked about um how much I hate the Apple store and uh because I ordered uh because I had I drove all the way there just to order something online, which I could have done for my fucking house, but uh they didn't tell me that. Um, it's kind of my fault, but it's not entirely mine, so I'm gonna get mad at them. Um, but I got my fucking iMac, dude. I set it up, got all my my apps on there, my files from my uh, MacBook, um, and dude, I edited a. I had to like power through a fucking editing session, dude. Usually, I like to take like all week and do like several hours a day editing to like you know let let some time past so i can like ref- like watch the video and be like oh maybe this bit isn't that strong i need to maybe make it funnier or just get rid of it or move some around you know so i have more time to like see it as a whole thing but uh this is a um, this video has a, a brand deal in it so i had to uh i had to get it done like super quick because i had to submit it to the brands uh and give them enough time to approve it and stuff for friday uh so the video is all done um, but I had to fucking power through it, dude. And usually on my MacBook, it's like a chore, dude. It's like, oh, it's like next to impossible. Um, but I was editing on, I edited on my, uh, my new iMac and dude, I wanted to cry, dude, cause it was so fast. I was like, wow, this is what it's always supposed to be like. Got it. <laughs> Man. So that was nice. And I'm fucking really excited about the about this week's video. Um, it's a it's a part two of a video I did a few months ago, um, and dude, fucking, oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you okay? This is how it this is how it works. When I make it, whenever I make a video, um, I always want to watch it back to make sure I didn't fuck anything up. Like I need to watch the whole thing in in its entirety, right? And, um, I usually watch it with, uh, with Jenna because, um, I don't know. It's like, 
obviously she wants to see what I'm I've been working on and then like it's also uh, a nice thing for me to be like um it's kind of like a focus test you know a focus group but just Jenna um and I can usually tell like if she laughs at some parts okay I'll be like okay if she doesn't laugh I'm like okay that's fine um maybe I'll re- rework it or something but um but man when she watched this one she was laughing probably like the hardest I've, I've ever heard her laugh at my video so I'm um I'm excited I'm uh, I'm excited for you guys to see it I worked really hard on it and um I had a lot of fun filming it and editing it so I hope you guys like it um it'll be up on Friday hopefully if the brand approves it um I mean I don't see why they wouldn't you know um because I'm the perfect YouTuber okay oh, there I said it I'm the perfect specimen baby and if, and if you think otherwise, I'll yell at you a lot. <laughs> All right? No disagreements on this podcast, okay? If you don't agree with every single little thing that I say on this podcast, dude, I can't be your friend. I'm sorry. As simple as that, dude. I can't disagree with anyone, okay? Because I'm scared of confrontation. Yeah. There, I said it. Curtis confrontation. Oh, my shoulder cracked. My shoulder is doing crack. Please, I need an intervention on my shoulder because it keeps doing crack. Okay. Um, shoulder crack, baby. We got a shoulder crack. Okay. Um, dude, fucking... Oh, what, ha- what else happened this week? Fucking, man, videos... Um, I said this on my Instagram story, but I, every week I'm so incredibly stressed, um, about what video I'm going to film that week. And it's always like a scramble. I'm like, I have ideas. I'm like, I don't know if that's good or blah, blah, blah. Um, but man, I plan like this next week, this next like two months actually are going to be fucking super busy. Um, traveling a lot. Um, so I, like, I don't have time to, like, stress about videos. I just need to, like, know what I'm doing. So I sat down, like, all day last week, one day, and then I just fucking wrote out, like, a, like, fucking 20 ideas and then, like, cut them down to, like, five and then just picked those. And I'm like, okay, these are for the next, like, month. So I was proud of myself, man. I've never done anything like that before, so, um... I'm stoked now. Now, like that, I'm a little. I'm like still stressed, but I'm a little less stressed, you know. Um, but I'm I'm hyped, man. Um, yeah, this next month is gonna be wild. Um, I mean, me, we we got two shows next week in Alberta, um, Calgary and Edmonton. Uh, we're we're really stoked for that. Um, so there's some traveling there. We and then we get back, and then um. And then we're going to LA for a bit, just for a few days before VidCon, um, because I'm going there. Uh, moderate. Uh, I'm the moderator of Danny and Drew's panel, and I think I might be doing a meet and greet. I don't know. Um, I'll let you guys know. Obviously, um, <laughs> just don't advertise it, so no one shows up. Nice to meet you, no one. Um, and then after that, we're trying to plan a vacation uh somewhere but um yeah man it's i'm gonna be i don't i don't plan on like missing any weeks of filming and like posting i'm gonna try to film everything before we leave for the big vacation but we'll see man uh it's gonna be it's gonna be busy but you know better than being not busy right um but yeah fucking i did a show uh not yesterday, Monday, and it's Wednesday today, um, yeah, I did a show on Monday, and, uh, my friend, friend Jillian's show, and it was, uh, it was fucking fun, man, um, the show, there was, like, um, okay, should turn this down, eh, eh, should turn this down, eh, um, yeah, the show was, um, 
It was cool. I mean, like it was. I've I've never done a I haven't done a show like that in a while, but it was it was a good time. It was fun. I did some newer material. It went over well. Um, and I feel like it was the same day that um, the Raptors parade was, um. And then I feel like people were just day drinking and shit, and like they didn't want to go to a comedy show. I guess just bad timing, right? Um, but also, can we talk about? I'm gonna talk about that fucking Toronto parade, the Raptors parade. Um, they brought back Raptors from prehistoric times, dude. And they're like, yeah, we're gonna have a parade. We're gonna have a Raptors parade, and obviously it didn't go well. Ninety people died. <laughs> I'm kidding. Obviously, it's for the Toronto Raptors, the basketball team, the NBA team. Uh, they won. Toronto Raptors fucking won the ch- NBA championship, which is honestly really cool. I'll say that. It's cool. Um, Did you guys hear that fucking deep inhale that I just did? <sighs> um, Yeah, it's really cool that they won. Don't get me wrong. But wow, people have to dial it back a bit. I'll say that much. Um, like when I was, I was watching the, um, the championship game. I was watching the, I was watching game six. Um, I just had it like playing on my phone. Um, like while I was playing video games and then like every, (laughs) such a fucking, I'll consume content, dude. I'll dude fucking plug me in, dude. I'll consume content. No problem. Playing video games while watch. I wasn't watching. I wasn't doing it simultaneously. Um, but, um, fucking, what was I saying? Like, yeah, every time I was, like, done a game, um, uh, I would just, like, look at the score, I'd be like, okay, sick. And then, um, and then they won, and I was like, oh, nice, that's really cool. Um, and then immediately I took, uh, Kiwi outside to, uh, to pee, and then I heard like, like whistles and shit. People are yelling, like it was so loud outside. And I live in like a pretty quiet part of Toronto, um, like it's kind of secluded in a way. Like I'm pretty far from like main intersections. Um, but even then, it was like fucking so loud. And then Kiwi was like tripping out. He's like, "What the fuck?" He didn't even like want to go on a walk because he was like so freaked out. Um, and then I get inside and like I'm seeing I'm watching like Instagram stories because I fucking consume content, dude. And like people were like out in the streets until like five in the morning. Like just yelling and shit and like climbing buildings and stuff. I'm not joking, I'm not exaggerating. People were like climbing buildings to be on top of them because they won a sports game. And any other day, if they didn't, that'd be illegal, dude. It's like, but it's fine because everyone was happy. Happy crimes. Yeah, I murdered someone, but it was in the it was in the name of the Raptors, and the cops were just like, "Ah, it's fine. You're free to go. All right, you're just being a sports fan, and that's fine." Dude, people were like, put like there was a bus on its side, huh? Dude, why? Dude, the Raptors won the NBA championship. This bus cannot be on four wheels right now it needs to be on its side all right hey everyone look at this bus being all bus like and then everyone was like oh yeah this guy we gotta fucking push it down dude let's go bus tipping tonight yeah i'm gonna tip over a bus dude how weird is that like chill you know hey man they won that's cool but also relax all right you don't got to tip a bus over. <laughs> That's insane. Anything remotely cool happens, you fucking break shit. Yo, I just got a I just got my tax refund. I'm going to burn a church. <laughs> I'm going to burn a church to the ground cuz I got my tax refund, baby. Yeah. That's the same thing. It's the exact same. It's fucked up, man. And then like I think they won on, like, the Friday or the Thursday or something. I don't fucking know. They won on a day. And then um, and then the following Monday, they uh, they scheduled the Toronto Raptors parade. 
Um, and then they declared Monday as the National We the North Day. You can't make this shit up, man. You really can't. We the North Day. We the North. We the North Day. It's in the National We the North Day. And we draw our broad swords and we uh, storm the castle of fucking Gavalon or whatever the fuck. I don't know. We the North. Um. And so that's a thing now. We the North Day, June seventeenth, um, and they did a big parade where the the Toronto Raptors they were on top of a like a big bus, like a big tour bus thing, and then uh, people crowd around and then they watch their favorite players go by in a bus and then they wave at them and then that's it. And there was like a million people downtown, and that's fucked up. I didn't go because obviously. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking nightmare, dude. Fucking million, being surrounded by a million people who are like just fucking drunk off of like, I don't know, fucking summers be at ciders. Just being fucking idiots, man. Fuck that. Fuck that 100%. Like, I, I hate being, there's nothing that drains my energy and my happiness like being in a big crowd of rowdy people dude i'd rather dude i'd rather like just kick my coffee table as hard as i could like barefoot i that sounds way more appealing i'd do it like you know how like when uh uh soccer players they have like a a penalty kick and they have that big running start and then they kick the ball as hard as they can i would do that but replace the 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 soccer ball with my coffee table and take the sh- the cleats and shin pads away and socks and, and yeah and so i can just boot my fucking coffee table because fuck that dude and then hey guess what fucking four people got shot so that's a thing that happened at the raptors at the day at the Toronto Raptors parade celebrating the NBA championships, four people got shot. Isn't that fucked, man? Can we all just be happy? You know? Can't we all just, for once, can there be a crowd of people celebrating something without just fucking hurting each other, right? What? Like, what's that? What is that deep on the Toronto Ra- on We the North Day? What's that deep that you got to go, I'm going to pull, pull up my gun and shoot this guy. That's fucked. And then there was like, I saw a video of it, man. It's fucking scary. Like a huge crowd of people. And then you hear like, bop, 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 bop. And then everyone's like, oh my God. And then they fucking run away. And then uh, everyone, the the like people who were like doing the, like the announcing, they had to be like, oh, okay, we're stopping because fucking some guy just shot people. Like, fuck. Someone else got stabbed, too, I think. I'm going to search it up. Toronto Parade Shooting. Yeah, like, Jesus Christ. Four injured in shooting during Toronto Raptors NBA celebration. I mean, it's good that they didn't... Um... Fucking kill anyone. Police have released the names of three men who were arrested... After the shootings at Mondays. Oh my god, man. Like, yeah, guys. Fuck that. You got, like, you can't do that. Like, we're, we're Canada, right? We're supposed to be the ones who don't do that. And then you do that. Uh, I mean, and then, like, I like Dean, my my buddies Dean and Jacob went, and they said that there was, there was just like kids there who were just being so fucking, just like, so like rude and disrespectful to everyone around them, which I totally get, dude. I'm like, when I was a teenager, I feel like I was a shithead, but and like, no, no tea, no shade, um, to people listening now if you're a teenager, but um, I feel like the people who listen to this podcast and watch my videos are actually like like cool (laughs) i don't know 
but man like sometimes like when i was around like being around teenagers now like it's so i don't know you know what my chemical romance fucking said it right you know teenager scare the living shit out of me that was a country remix i don't know why i said it like that um but yeah like just fucking be a uh, be normal you know <laughs> be fucking just relax I mean, I was probably the exact same. Like, I don't, I'm, who am I to say, you know? I was probably exactly the same when I was a teenager. If I met, dude, if I met my teenage self right now, I'd square up immediately. 100%. And you're a weirdo if you wouldn't, you know? If you like, if you're like, if you're in your 20s and you're like, ah, yeah, I was actually a pretty cool 15 year old. Fuck you. No, you weren't. Sorry. Eh. That's wrong. <laughs> you weren't, dude. Because you always got to be, you always got to be getting better, right? You always got to be improving as a human being and growing and learning. Um, and Lord knows you weren't doing that when you were a fucking teenager. At least I wasn't. Just saying dumb shit, doing dumb shit, being a dumb shit. But, but I mean, I guess that's what it's for. Those are your developing years. You got to get it out of your system, right? And I mean, I still act like a fucking child, but only when it's, you know, appropriate. Like when I'm with my friends and it's still like, and we're not disrupting people, you know? I don't know. I don't need to tell you guys how to be a human. <laughs> I think you guys know. Um, oh, dude. Speaking of fucking being a teenager, I wanted to, dude, I want to tell this fucking story, man. I heard, I thought about this the other day. Um, it was so weird, man. This is like, um, my first, this is when I was like with my f- first girlfriend in like grade 10, I think or sorry, 10th grade to my American listeners. Um, uh, so yeah, I think we just like, we just broke up. And then, um, because, you know, I was like, I, I don't want to date you anymore. You know, you know how breakups go. Um, and then uh, literally like, dude, this was so fucking weird. I remember like three days after I got like a phone call from like a random number. And then I was like, hello (laughs) you know how you answer a phone um i said hello and then this guy was like i could like hear like dude i could hear like 50 cent in the background and then um like a bunch of people like giggling and stuff and like talking and this guy was like yo is this curtis and then (laughs) and i was like yeah and then he was like yo um you better watch out thursday I'm going to come to your school and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. And I was like, why? <laughs> and then he said something about like my ex-girlfriend. And I was like, all right, well, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. And then, cause I was like with my friends and then I was like trying to like laugh it off, I guess if they asked me about it, but I was like, I'm fucking so scared. But I was like, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. <laughs> And he's like, well, I'm going to fucking do it, man. I see ya. And then they hung up and I was like, all right. So obviously what it was, was my ex-girlfriend hanging out with some fucking like like dudes who were just listening to 50 Cent and smoked shitty weed. And then she was probably like, yeah, I just got dumped. He sucks. And then he was like, well, I'll beat him up. I'll beat him up, dude. I'll say, go for it. Kill him, dude. And then uh, made that phone call. Um, And then the... It was like... That was like a Tuesday, dude. And I was like, fuck. It was pretty smart, man. Like, telling me it like a, de- like a few days in advance. Because it gave me like a few days to be like, fuck, is he actually going to beat me up? Like, who is this guy? And then I didn't tell any... Like, I told my friend Brayden at the time. But he was just like, oh, fuck it. It's fine. Because that's what he said to everything. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fine. Fuck it. Um, I was like, hey, man, what's the answer to number three? He's like, no, it's fine. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> um, 
but yeah, then then Wednesday happened. I was like, oh man, I hope he doesn't fucking actually beat me up. And then Thursday came along. I was like, fuck, I might get beaten up today. And then instead of like, you know, just like staying home from school or something or like skipping or like, you know, pretending to be sick. I was like, eh, that's fine. I probably got like a test today or I want to like see my fucking boys. I want to hang out. So I like, I went to school and, um, I just went about my day and I was like, I don't know if, if it happens, it happens. You know, if I get beat up, it's whatever. I'm, I'm with like four other dudes. It's going to be fine. Um, and it never happened, dude. It never fucking happened. It was all, it was a bunch of, it was a bunch of bullshit, dude. It was, it was smoke in mirrors. It was shitty weed smoke in mirrors. And it never happened, dude. And I feel like that would have humbled me. That's a way better ending to this story, you know? If I was like, yeah, and he actually beat the shit out of me. And then my friends, like, had my back. And we became better friends after it. Um, and then I learned something about trust and safety and friendship. But nope. All I learned is that people are dumb as shit and they lie about crap uh, for no reason. And, um... Yeah, that's that's what I learned. But how, dude, how funny is that? Yeah, give me his number. Yeah, dude, I'll beat this shit out of you. Dude is probably, dude is probably down to do it. He was just so high and stupid that he um he forgot. He's like at dude. He's like at school, like in in class, like writing um writing a test. <laughs> it's like super quiet and he's like oh fuck i knew oh god i was supposed to beat up curtis today ah i knew i i knew there was a reason i couldn't do this knew i knew i had something prior going on but i couldn't do this test fuck <sighs> oh that's so funny forgetting you want you had to beat someone up that's rich Hey, in other news, why did computers, why did Macs get rid of disk drives? You know? It's a pretty big fuck you to have an eject, a disk eject button on the keyboard when there isn't anything to put my disk in, right? How dare you? I, oh, this is for the attachment that, we have, that you have to buy to play discs on your Mac. Dude, eat my ass. I'm like feeling the sides of my computer to like, like feel for a disk drive. And it's not there. Your disk driving me insane. Why did I say that? I don't know. God, high school's so funny. Like, thinking back at that story, like, how much I fucking gave a shit about everything and it didn't matter at all. Uh, God. Like, one time... Dude. One time I let this kid Aiden borrow my fucking... My, my gym shoes. Because he's like, bro, I don't have any gym shoes. Like, can you fucking... Like, can you just fucking, like, lend me yours? Like, this is a basketball tryout. It's like, I need... I need shoes, man. Like, I need to be on this team. I'm like, well, you should have shoes if you want to be on the team. But yeah, man, uh, here you go. And then he borrowed them. And dude, he gave them back. And one of the little things on the bottom, like, like the little grippy things, it was like dangling. Like the little grippy things on the bottom of shoes. You know what I'm talking about, shoe grippy things. It was like dangling off. And I was like, dude, come on. Like, I remember being so pissed. And being like, you fucking did this on purpose, man. Like, I'm never fucking doing this. I'm never doing anything nice for anyone ever again. Like, I was so pissed. Because my gym shoes. The shoes that I wore 20, like, fucking, like, 30 minutes a day. And didn't try in or didn't do any real hard athletics in were messed up a little bit. And you couldn't even notice. I couldn't even notice. But I knew it in my head. And I was like, I was so pissed. Oh, God, high school is so fucking funny. I don't know what it is, but I feel like, like, whenever I, I don't know if it's a, a regular human reaction, but 
like I can't I can't picture someone looking back at high school and being like, ah, those were the days, right? That's so weird. I laugh so hard every time I think about it. It's it's such a fucking weird time. Like a a, a building full of kids going through the worst times of their lives all at the same time. And they all have to pretend like it's not. It's so funny, man. Fuck. I saw one I, I saw one good tweet uh this week. It was like this week in tweets I liked. Um It was like you could tell how sad someone was by how close they were with their English teacher <laughs> in high school and that fucking really hit the nail on the head, dude. Dude, Miss Kramer at my at my at my high school, she was sick, dude. Was that her name? Wait, was that her name? Was this Kramer? I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. Um That's not it. Dang, I think it was Mrs. Kramer. But yeah, she was fucking sick, dude. Or is it... And then Mr. Uh, Mr. Fuck, man. Why am I forgetting, like, all of these fucking... All of my teachers that I was, like, pretty close with? I guess I wasn't that close. Um, Yo, can't you, like... Can't you, like, uh, look at... Um, like, teachers' names on the... Yeah, you can. Here, I'll, here they are. Here are the names. Oh, I guess she left. Um, Mr. Farrell. Dude, that guy was sick. Yo, shout out Mr. Farrell at Sir Alan McNabb Secondary. That guy's a beauty. Mr. Cowan was cool. Dude, this is a trip down memory lane. You guys enjoying this podcast of me talking about my fucking... Uh, <laughs> fucking high school teachers yo miss barda dude i'll tell you i'll tell you this dude I, dude i respect teachers who fucking make fun of kids in like a really like in like a playful way like roasting kids like that's so fucking funny like in my we i took an animation class with it was like me my friend brayden we took an animation class because we we're like, fuck it, that'll be fun, and it'll be like easy. And then Miss Barda was who was such a fucking awesome woman. She was amazing. She was a teacher. And like she'd give us an assignment and she'd be like because she didn't give a fuck about the class either. And she'd be like, Yeah, just like do this. We're gonna learn how to use Flash and you follow this tutorial and like make your own animation. And then we did it. We do the and the assignment in like 10 minutes, and she'd be like, Yeah, that's cool. And then we just fuck around on the computer for like the rest for like the other 45 minutes of the class. <laughs> um, just like playing Fergie music and like singing and just fucking just being so annoying, man. Like looking back. But she was always like. She, man, it was so funny. <laughs> she would just be like, guys, stop. And then we'd be like, nah, come on, Ms. Varda, it's fun. And then she'd be like, OK, fine. <laughs> she would just be like, okay, whatever. Like, we could do whatever we want, man. And she would just, like, make fun of us and, like, make jokes with us. She was awesome, man. Like, 100% just fucking smoked weed so much, man. You know? And, like, maybe was, like, practicing witchcraft. You know those girls? You know those You know those people? What? really like long curly hair you're you practice witchcraft or have at least read about it you know like long like really unkept curly hair um you know what i'm talking about right and there's i'm not reading anyone there's no shade or anything i'm just saying like that's the uniform for a witch um or someone who is of the wiccan uh religion or wicca is that what that is i don't know but 100% read about witchcraft once, smokes a bunch of weed, and then teaches art. 
and uh, that's hilarious. I want to go, dude. I want to go back there. I want to go, like Billy Madison. Just kidding. I remember I wanted to like, cause I wanted to be a teacher like so bad when I was a kid, and I'd be like, um, not when I was a kid. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a teacher. Um, but man, I wonder if anyone at Surround McNabb watches my videos. That'd be crazy. If anyone listens to this podcast and goes to McNabb, let me know. Um, fun fact about McNabb. It used to be called McStab because so many people were stabbed there. And that's not a joke. That is a real thing that people called it. Um, But that uh, that stopped when I got there. That that makes it sound like I had something to do with it. It it wasn't. It was the principal. I think they expelled like 100 kids that were like really bad. And then um, then the the stabbing stopped. So that's pretty cool. it's a pretty uh, quick way to stop stabbing. If there's a lot of stabbings going on in your city, just expel everyone. Um, but yeah, high school's fucking funny, man. I mean, if you enjoy high school, if you're having fun, fucking cool, man. I didn't, like, it's shitty, but I never had, like, um, I never had, like, a terrible time, but I never had, like, the best time ever, you know? It was just like, all right. And if you are having a shitty time, fucking don't, don't worry. I know it's hard not to worry, but just fucking honestly, man, if you're having a hard time in high school, it's fine, okay? It literally doesn't matter. And it's what, four years? Cool. That's going to go by so fast. You get it done. You graduate. Fuck it. You're over it. You're done. And then it gets way sicker after, I promise, dude. Like, that's a promise. I swear. Like, high school sucks dick, all right? And it doesn't matter at all, all right? And the people who are cool in high school are not going to be cool after high school. So it's fine, all right? It's fine. Um, And there's the fucking tea. Scolding tea for you, all right? Tea birds. And no one looks like the fucking dude. How? What? What? It's so weird that they they. This is kind of related to what I was talking about. But how weird is it that they casted John Travolta to play Danny Zuko, a high school student? But he's what thir- when he was he was like thirty five when that video when that movie came out video okay when that movie came out. And then you, and when you when you're growing up, you see these high school these high school movies, and everyone's like, "Oh wow, they look, they look mature." And then you get to high school, and everyone's like, "Hey, hey, I'm in grade nine. Hey, I'm in grade nine. I still poop my pants. Where's uh when's nap time? You know, it's not like the movies at all. All right, there's no no one looks like Danny Zuko in high school. All right, if they do." then they're really stupid and they got held back like several years. Now Grease is a little bit of a different movie, right? Danny Zuko is just a dumbass. <laughs> he's just super dumb and was held back a lot. That's why he's so hunky. All the all the T-Birds... All the T-Birds were fucking held back. That's what they were called, right? T-Birds? T-Birds... Greece. Oh hell yeah, dude. I know it. T Birds and the Pink Ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna be a T Bird. And that was a gang. That was a, they were so vocal about them being a gang in high school and the whole and the principals and the teachers were just like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Gangs are cool. Gang gang. T bird, T bird, baby. Sandy, I can't believe it's you. <laughs> Sandy? Um Grease slaps though. Grease is a great movie. Grease, if they make a musical about my hair after a few days of not showering it, it would be called it would be called Kinky Boots. <laughs> 
That's a little misdirection for you. That's a playbook out of the Curtis Connor Handbook of Comedy. Playbook out of the handbook? What am I saying? I don't know. Um, what are we at? 40-something? Cool. Um, folks, this was fun. Nice little trip down memory lane, talking about how dumb teenagers are and how dumb I was when I was a teenager. Um, so that was, that was fucking, that was fun, man. We'll, we'll end it. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Um, a little, uh, a little promo, a little quick. Don't exit out yet, please. All right, please. I'm begging. Um, there are some tickets left for, um, the tour that I'm going on with Danny and Drew. Um, there's some meet and greet tickets, general mission in a lot of cities. Some have sold out though, and tickets are going at a pretty steady pace so grab them before they're gone i promise uh you won't regret it it's gonna be a lot of fun um yeah i think that's it also uh yeah just get soaked for the video this friday um i work really hard on it and i'm really excited for you guys to see it and uh again thank you so much for listening thank you for um lending some of your time to this i um i have a lot of fun doing this and it makes me happy that you guys listen to it and still with everything thank you for the support um you guys are the best and i love you all very much and uh yeah fucking stay tuned for uh stuff because i might have a meet and greet at vidcon i don't know um so stay tuned for that okay uh that was episode 66 of uh, very really good uh don't forget to rate and review it put on your story all that fun shit um all right love you guys peace out